Hey everyone, super excited to be with you tonight to show you this brief bonus video that is going to bring together a route from one of our favorite paths to one of our favorite forest preserves and along the way, more importantly, and the reason that we really wanted to get this out tonight, show you one of the coolest migrations in all of North America and it's happening right here in your Chicago area forest preserves right now. So. We're going to be showing you an easy way to get from the Green Bay Trail, which we profiled in a recent video, to the Skokie Lagoons, which is a fantastic forest preserve that we will devote its whole own video to in the near future. But the reason that we want to show it to you right now is that there you can see on some evenings up to 20, 30, 40, even more common nighthawks, which is the coolest bird that you have definitely heard even if you're not totally aware of it in the Chicago night skies. So this bird engages again on one of the longest migrations in all of North America. And it's kind of a combination of the best elements of like a swift or a swallow in terms of their acrobatic insect, insect hunting abilities and a raptor in terms of their abilities to hover. So they're actually not a hawk at all. They're in a family called the night jars and they tend to be most active around dusk and dawn. So if you want to try to see them, you want to aim for those times. And in fact, probably an hour and a half to an hour before sunset would be your best bet right now. So you could go out some nights and only see a few or you could see dozens because they're kind of in waves right now. So the area that we're going to be showing you, we saw about 30 on the 27th. So you could go other nights and see more or less, just depending on your luck. This migration usually lasts from about the last week or so of August until the first week in September. So we really wanted to let you know about it now in case you'd like to go and try to check it out because it is one of the absolute highlights of fall migration. So a couple of really cool things about the Nighthawks before we get into the video itself. They not only make a very characteristic kind of meeping noise, um, which is their main call, which you're going to see in the video, but they also can make a sonic boom. So the males actually can do this amazing maneuver where to show off to either rivals or females or even humans sometimes, they'll go from flying above the treetops or even higher to this dramatic dive that takes them to 10 or 15 feet above the ground. And in doing that, they actually flex their wings and create this mini sonic boom when their primaries catch the air. And they'll sound like a race car going by. So these birds do a lot of amazing things for the environment. They are also known some places as mosquito hawks. So they're really beneficial if you're not a huge fan of mosquitoes. They eat tons of insects and they're really important keystone species in that way. So please enjoy this introduction to a really easy way to get from a path that we love to a great forest preserve that you should definitely check out while also encountering one of the coolest birds in North America. Starting out here on the Green Bay Trail heading north and just showing you that you're going to be heading for the area just north of the Winnetka stop but you're going almost all the way until you get to the next station north which is Hubbard Woods but not quite all the way there. Just before you get there about a mile after this Winnetka stop you're going to see Tower Road. It's an overpass but you'll see that there's a little place off to the right that you can actually get up off of the Green Bay Trail itself and head onto Tower Road. That's what this is showing here is that turn on to Tower Road. Now I filmed this part with the car so it looks a little different but you'll see here that it's a really straight shot. There's a bike path on the left side of the road and a just regular sidewalk on the right side of the road. You're going to be following that Tower Road west just one mile until you get to this intersection with Forest Way and that's going to be the entrance to the Skokie Lagoons. So this is a great area to know. We're going to actually cover this in a future video so I won't go into too much detail here. Many of you will already be familiar with it. Wonderful boating opportunities, great bike paths, amazing birding. You're basically just going to be going across Forest Way and then taking your first left into the parking lot for the canoe rentals. It's not actually signed as being canoe rentals, but you'll see a big portable storage uh, locker there where the canoes and kayaks are kept during non-COVID times. So when you turn in here, and again, you're going to 
wanting to be getting here um, either an hour and a half to an hour before sunset or about the same amount of time after sunrise. And this is where you can start to see these amazing birds. So I'm gonna show you a couple of close-ups here. Again, we saw 20 to 30 of these on the night of the 27th, but you could see more or less just depending on the luck of the night. And they are very hard to photograph. So my photographs are quite terrible. I'm just gonna be trying to show you a few field marks here so that you get a sense of what to look for. In the sky, they're gonna look kind of like a swift or a swallow, but much bigger. And they're gonna have a much wider wingspan with this white wing bar on the bottom. You can hear here their distinctive sound, of course, as well, they are in the background. And that's what you wanna listen for is that neep. Here's what they look like in the air. Again, it's a very erratic fluttering motion, but they'll then hover in between those moments of erratically flying like an insect. I wanted to just also show you as a little bonus here how pretty the ride back can be if you're actually doing this on a bike. Here we're on the bike path. We just headed again now east, going the opposite way from the way that we came out of that parking lot for the canoe rentals. You can also Google Skokie Lagoon's boat launch or Tower Road boat launch, and that's gonna get you to an area that's actually connected to this parking lot. It's just south, but you can easily see the container for the canoes from that boat launch. Here we actually are just gonna be uh, crossing this road. I had to get off and cross because we were on the scooter here, but here we're just crossing Forest Way, again, which is really the major artery through the lagoons. And then we're gonna be carrying on on this bike path. And again, you can stay on this the entire way to the connection with the Green Bay Trail, it's again just about an hour, a mile. And so a really, really easy way to go. We actually ran into some sidewalk closure signs here this evening, but in reality, there didn't seem to be anything wrong with the sidewalk, so we were able to just walk around them carefully after we checked to make sure that everything looked good. So anyway, thanks for joining us on this little extra bonus jaunt off of the Green Bay Trail into the Skokie Lagoons for one of the most interesting and unique migration events of the fall migration season. See you next time.